Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion, it'll set you free from parents and mobs and family and governments and police, everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this, you are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of you, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I am. I am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, means I am. When you say I am God, you have to say what is God's name? I am. What? I am God. Oh my God, then all the people, Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think I am the other side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Yeah, yeah, welcome to that third album. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be continuing my Sun Through the Sign series with Sun in Libra. And so, what is the Sun? The Sun is your soul. Your father, government, authority, presidents, kings, vitality, your health, your ego, how you choose to build your kingdom here on earth. This can be done through a career or achievements. This is how we achieve, how we choose to identify ourselves, our self-confidence. And because the sun rules Leo, it can be fun, playful. Um, being the best versions of ourselves and how we shine our light out into the world. And so the sun lives in the seventh house, uh, the sun, Libra lives in the seventh house and it's ruled by Venus. And Venus is debilitated in the sun. I think I mentioned that in the Taurus video. If you didn't watch it, I would because some things could resonate here as well. But um, Venus is the arch enemy of the sun. They they do not get along. And so unfortunately, the sun doesn't really do well in Venus. Um, and the sun wants to be the center of attention, but Libra is about others, other people. And so you might crave approval and attention from others. Your confidence comes from other people and uh, how much they like you. Um, you might be hard on yourself, um, especially when it comes to decision making. And you might not make decisions without consulting others. Um, it's it's signs like the, I mean I feel like I should do it for all signs, but. It's signs like this where I think it's very important to do the mythology of the energy so that you understand these kinds of expressions a little bit better. And so because Venus is the wife of Saturn or Pluto or the underworld or the devil, there is a darker energy here, but also not so much about it being a darker energy, but more so that um, this is about marriage, right? And so Libra rules in the seventh house, this is about marriage, partnerships, um, contracts, agreements, mentorship, uh, counseling, and it rules the legal field. Um, and so in saying that, I think it's important to preface that the reason why um, Libra people might come off as not being good at making decisions or needing others to make decisions is because it is the energy of being the wife of somebody, right? And so when you think of it from that perspective, whether they're in a marriage or not, they're always going to operate from that space, right? They're meant to hold space. That's their archetype. And so they're going to act like a wife in any, um, you know, in anything that they do, right? And so when you're in a marriage, whatever that traditional idea of marriage is, is working through things together, right? And so 
it's important that, you know, when we're kind of having these conversations that we all also put some realism on it and not just seeing people as um, indecisive. I hate that word. And I hate when people say that, but let's take it a step further. They rule judges, lawyers, and things of that nature. You don't make decisions without having all the facts and information that might consist of you speaking to other people, getting others' opinions, um, people whom you look up to, especially with the sun being here, seeing as the sun is somebody who is somebody of uh, higher um, knowledge or wisdom than you, right? And so these people will seek out information from people who um, have answers to the questions that they're trying to answer before they make a decision. And so if you don't have those kinds of people in your life or you're you're not um, in a position where you feel like you can do something like that, that can definitely cause somebody to be indecisive. And so I just wanted to add that caveat in there um, because it's really annoying as a Venus rising person for people to tell me that I'm indecisive. It's a cardinal sign. So I really have a hard time seeing that that's even really true. But um, as always, I try to stay, um, you know, open to the fact that there are some leaders out there who really do have a hard time making decisions and they can be very indecisive. But again, it's also going to um, play a really big part in what other aspects and what house it's sitting in uh, that's going to make all the difference of that. So if you go around just assuming that every Libra is the same, that can be a really um, big mistake for you. But um, these people tend to have executive positions. They need a board or a um, business partner. They typically don't like doing things by themselves. They can be in, inconsistent and hypocritical, two-faced, which can lead to insecurity because they really do want the opinions of other people. These people are negotiators, peacemakers, and, um, harmo and, and they can do it in very harmonious ways. They see both sides of the story. They're able to put themselves in other people's shoes and want to be the center of attention when it comes to art culture, um, sophistication, elegance, and relationships. Um, these people can usually tend to work in design, um, singing, um, fashion, beauty, counseling, law, coaches, mentors, and um, paralegals. Your father was probably a good dresser, a lawyer, very diplomatic, but might have lacked self-confidence. Um, unfortunately, these people can attract self-centered partners, people who are very popular, exciting, kings, you know, independent, confident, creative and self-starters, which is the exact opposite of what these people want. And so um, it's that whole idea of opposites attract. Um, these people are very happy being in partnerships. Um, I think politicians is something else that um, these people are good, uh, the fields are good in for politicians, fame, mediators, contracting, client-based work, and having their own business, and often tend to um, be single for long periods of time, um, mostly because it helps them learn more about themselves and who they are and what they really want to attract. But for Libras, more than anything, I think the alone time is more so about learning how to make their own decisions on their own without somebody else and learning how to say no, because this is something that they really struggle with. So they will tend to attract and not just marriage partners and boyfriends and girlfriends and, you know, the idea of love. I mean, like um, all in all areas of their 
their life. They tend to attract, attract people who kind of want to control them and tell them what to do. Because these people can come off as very meek um, and um, innocent, uh, soft even. Um, and so people, you know, they, they, they have these like little posts and TikToks and stuff about the type of people that attract uh, manipulators. You know, I, I really hate using those terms, but um, I feel like uh, because Pisces is the high or oh, Neptune that rules Pisces, so Pisces people, uh, because Neptune is the higher octave of Venus in that way, they share that same storyline of just really, 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 really bad relationships. And they might do that throughout their lifetime for a really long period of time before they get married or until they um, do that periods of being single so they step into their power enough to learn how to say no boundaries and um, learning how to make decisions on their own. And the only way you can really truly do that is if you get to know who you truly are. And so these people might also spend a lot of time in counseling, if not studying it in some way, shape or form um, as ways to overcome that ideology. So Family, as usual, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.